Today, the team tested the facelifted Volkswagen Phaeton W12. This revised version of VW's most expensive, most luxurious car costs £82,000 and promises to be one of the most advanced and thoroughly engineered cars on the road. It looks just the same as when it first came out eight years ago. Different yeah, year, though, isn't slightly it? different. Come on, Johnny. Well, it's got, the, it's got the new corporate grill. Which... Well, this is the facelift, it's just the grill. Yeah, pretty much. It does look a bit, uh, you know, a wee bit like a big Passat. However, there yeah. is yeah. some lovely tech in the boot. Look, lovely bits of engineering. Tiff's had another little moment today with the boot hinge. Look wow. at that hinge. Which, of course, the others didn't appreciate. It's just a hinge. <laughs> It's a piece of scientific art. Are you happy with the interior design up front there, chauffeur? Well... There's an awful lot of trosh in there. Look at these. It's just like a helipad for a very small model helicopter. But no, you push it down and it's actually a cup holder. But uh, at what time would you need it to be like that? I ask. You're spending a lot of money on a big car that's supposed to be super luxurious. And I think that brands like BMW and Mercedes and Audi do it a lot better. Let me wheel out a fact. Volkswagen have designed this so that at 186 miles per hour, if it's 50 degrees centigrade outside, it will maintain a constant steady 22 degrees centigrade inside with the air con. What we should learn from that is Volkswagen have spent a lot of time doing slightly irrelevant things in this car. We don't want to go 186 with the air con, we want this to look better. What we wanted to test was its sort of, it, it, its grace, its silence, and it's the way in which it can display its technological gizmos. We couldn't think of a better way of doing it than taking it round the bowl at 100 miles an hour, sticking cruise control on and taking our hands and feet away from it and phoning people with its voice recognition system. Come on, Johnny. I've set the cruise, yeah, it's on 100. And I'm going to take my hand off the steering wheel and just see what happens. Although it feels a bit wrong. It, it is, it's maintaining it's maintaining the curve. I can't wait to hear your ringtones. Tiff, Uncle Drifter. Oh, Tiff, Uncle Drifter. <laughs> oh! Hello? Ah, Tiff. It's very kind of you to call. Are you comfortable? I am, I'm really comfortable. Bye, thanks for calling. Thanks for calling, Johnny. Jason Potato. Number four. Jason Potato. He talks too much, I'll turn him off. <laughs> Victoria Butler hyphen Henderson. Number three, Victoria Butler hyphen Henderson. You've got it, darling. You've got it. Oh, oh that's a good oh, thing. <laughs> this is a warning that Johnny's on the phone, so that I need to put aside two hours. Vicky, there's something I've always wanted to tell you. What? It's got 444 horsepower, this has. The quality of the call was superb. I could hear every single word. Even on the phone, you're boring me. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> we don't mean it, really. We just tease him. Despite a hands-free system that eventually recognises even confusing names, the revised VW Phaeton feels out of date. It's just a middle-aged old horse. Four. Five. The Phaeton W12 gets a fading five. A not very good four. Which gives the Volkswagen Phaeton a team test score of just 18 out of 40. It is more refined and more exciting than before. Both sides of its character have been improved. The only problem Aston haven't addressed is rear seat space. With its skinny motorbike front tyres offering little grip and the engine mounted right out of the front,